Hello everyone. Welcome back again to the another episode of the business application show conducted by C Sharp Corner Community. So today we are going to talk about a new first party app. So in earlier sessions uh, we discussed about the sales app and we discussed about the customer service app and today we are going to introduce a new first party app uh, which is uh, basically from Microsoft. So this is uh, the high level agenda that uh, we are going to cover today. So we are going to start with a basic introduction about this and as we will do more session on that, so we will have more details and more functionality we will be discussing on. So we will be starting with the basic elements that we need to understand uh, when we work with the you know, customer service. So the app that we are going to start today is the Dynamics 365 Customer Insight app. So earlier we used to call it Dynamics Marketing, but now it is changed to the Dynamics 365 Customer Insight Journey. Okay, so we will start with the basic introductions and then slowly we will move to that uh, component that we use while, you know, uh, do this complete marketing activity, the customer insight uh, journey activity. So we will start with the basic, uh, you know, introduction about the managed assets. So what are the asset about and how we can use them and we can store them. And then we will see how we can create our marketing emails that we want to send to our customers. And we will see how we can personalize it and we can add specific content to that. How we can do the branding on that email. And then we will see the demo of whatever topic we will be discussing today. Okay, so that's we are going to cover today. So let's have a quick introduction uh, about ourselves first. Uh, so myself Mahinder and I have my friend with me Venkita. So we both are Microsoft MVPs, and it's like more than you know ten years that we have been working with the Microsoft technologies, and we are C Sharp Corner MVPs as well. Okay, so now. Let's uh, begin and uh, let's jump into the word first slide. So here, as I said that today, the topic is customer insight. And that uh, is basically how we communicate with our customers. So in the earlier first party apps on the sales, on the customer service, we discuss about that activities, right? So we, we saw that what are the different ways are available to communicate with our customers. So how we can, you know, communicate through the emails, through the phone calls or through the other activities. So here, what we are going to focus more on that, how to, you know, make them more personalized based on the customer requirement and based on the customer data that we get. So, you know, when for any business applications now, we have lots of data that we are getting, um, you know, for our customer from the different sources, right? So here, all of the data that we utilize, we use and we learn about the customer, what is their choices, what is their requirement, what type of business they are doing. And we try to communicate, we try to put all of our, you know, collection, whatever we have, you know, uh, get from those data to send into the communication. So our customer will have the confidence. Yes, they know about us, right? They understand our business. So whenever we are, you know, talking to our customer, we always need to provide the detail in a such a way that the customer will be in the confidence. Yes, the email that I'm getting that is based on my requirement and that's based on, you know, point to point. Then they understand our business, they understand our requirement and they can provide us definitely solution. If we understand our customer, definitely we can provide them a better solution, right? So customer service, this app is basically all about this. It allows us to, you know, create a different uh, personalized email with the drag and draw features. So we have the templates that is available. You just need to select that template if you want to use those or if you want to create your own custom template, you can also do that. And in the template, you can, you know, uh, do complete uh, layout changes over there. You can put your custom control or the control that is there. You can customize them and you can, you know, reuse the blocks. So all these things that you can do it, right? And on the top of that, as we have uh, discussed, you know, uh, in some of the back uh, sessions, we also discuss about the co-pilot, 
right? Same thing here is that we can utilize AI features to generate these emails so that we will be covering in the coming sessions. So we are not uh, we are not uh, you know, taking this in the today's session, but in the coming session, definitely we will be discussing how we will be uh, you know using the co-pilot and AI features to do these kind of things. Okay. So today we will just see that how we can manually do this, right? How we can manually generate that uh, email contents and all those. So apart from that email, we have different other ways of as well. For example, you can you know send that SMS. You can uh, if you have a, you know uh, maybe your customer uh, you just want to send them a push notification. So that kind of thing can be also done in the customer insight. So it provides you different mechanism to you know communicate with your customer in time and with the proper information that is you know based on their requirement and based on their industry based on their business so it's you know totally personalized based on your customer okay so that's what we have the customer insight and as i said that here you can see that we this this is basically the uh, you know interface as will you will be landed on the customer insight so you will see this first page here so we are going to discuss some of the component here which you can see on the left hand side the first thing that we want to discuss about is asset okay asset is in a simpler way you can understand they are basically the files which you are going to utilize into your emails okay so for example uh, let, let's take an example you want to put some logo okay or you want to put some product information to the email or maybe you have some other graphic that you want to uh, you know for, for your service or something that you put on the your email or maybe there are some pdf or sales brochure or some some uh, related to your products or uh, features there are some documentation that is available that you want to send to your customer so those type of thing that you can store under that assets so as you can see here that we can create that asset library we can go here and we can add that file and when when you will click on the new file you will get dialogue something like that and on that you can you know browse that file which is you know uh, upload it here and while uploading that you can do that tagging as well so you can add that tag and this tagging is going to help you when you want to search your files okay so apart from the name if you want to you know search uh, all of your assets based on the tag you can also do that okay so those kind of features are available here and there are when you will uh, you know create uh, these library there are a few specific uh, things that you keep um, to keep in mind that the maximum size that you can uh, use for that uh, 5 mb image for the images so if any image you want to upload you can uh, you know upload up to the 5 mb only you cannot go beyond that and similarly for the document we have the 32 bit uh, sorry 32 uh, mb document that is available and in case you are using video that you can do that 128 mb okay so these type of uh, asset you can manage and you can store it here and that you can utilize while you are designing your email contacts. So now, now we have that asset. Uh, you know, let's say we we understand that asset. Now we uh, we got some asset that we can use into our emails. The next step is that how to design that email. Okay, so while sending email, right? The the more information that you can put uh, into the email that's going to help to the customer right you, it's if let's say let's take an example that if you're writing an email and you are simply writing a text information there and on the other hand if you are writing an email with the combination of text and graphics that seems more you know attractive that will provide you more information right so that's the thing here so in the Templates, you can see that these are the sum of the template that is available out of the box. So whenever you will select that, it will, it will show you some in preview here and uh, you can select any of these templates. Once you will select this template, you can go ahead and you can customize these templates as you want. Okay. So when you select this template, you can see here that it will come like this. 
okay so for example if i have selected this template and in that template now i can see that all of these the uh, whatever contents is there whatever sections are there so behind the scene actually this is a html page okay in that behind the scene it generate that html code so all this uh, contents that is available here and if you see in the right hand side we have different uh, menu that is available here when you will select these different options so it provide different functionality so first option is like for the element okay so as i said that these are the template that's there but maybe you don't want to use it as it is you want to do the customization on right so you can drag and drop from here and you can put these elements here and as soon as you will put this element then you will get the properties of this element which you can customize and put your content over there okay so all all these things that we can see here different type of uh, you know elements are there the text for the input type of things for the images and that uh, there are you can apply the custom html codes as well and you can put the different layouts for example if you want to create different sections uh, one column section two column section so depending on the requirement you can fully customize it here using those elements okay and when you you do that uh, you know uh, start uh, creating your email so you need to provide these basic details as well so for example what will be you know uh, the subject that you want to keep for your email which you are designing here under this uh, customer insights right and if you want to see that html code which is whatever you are doing from this gui and you want to see that okay when i did all these actions what are the uh, what is the code that is you know generated behind the scene so you can click on this html uh, button here and when you will click on this you can see all of the code that is generated behind the scene right and uh, you have this options as well like if you are something doing and you want to do or undo or redo those kind of thing is also available under this option right so here uh, after doing this uh, like uh, we can uh, let's say you completed you are added all of this uh, you can also see that there is a option for the copilot uh, as i said that we will discuss this in the coming sessions so that that can be also utilized here now let's take an example that uh, you have you know put all of your layouts there and uh, you put uh, all of the contents and images assets everything that you have uh, you know put it here now you want to send this and while sending that we need to provide you know basic details here right so like what will the name that is coming from the subject and what are the different uh, you know send settings are there like if they when you are sending that email let's say they want to reply okay so where this email should go so what will be the reply to email all these things we can provide it here we can have the company address we can also you know provide that uh, company details as well here so that kind of thing can be also done it here on the emails while you are designing your marketing emails right Okay. Now, so we have this uh, contents uh, that is provided, and there is a another concept that I've been uh, you know talking about is the personalization, right? The more you can personalize based on your customer data, so you, you have the customer data, right? So it's available on the contact, it's available on the uh, account or you know if you have renamed it to the customer so all of the data what what is there like basic details like address who is the primary contact how many numbers of uh, people working there what is their industry what is their you know all, all basic details of the customer that is available into crm right and that that same thing is shared with all that first party apps so for example one customer is there that customer can be utilized here that customer can be utilized in the sales that customer can be also utilized in the customer service right so you can personalize it here you can put that conditions you can simply like you know this is this is an example that i have taken from this uh, you know where let's say if you want to greet the customer okay based on their city 
right where they are staying based on that uh, their country you can greet them accordingly so you can write a you know uh, a simple expressions here that if their country is equal to this say you know write uh, do the greet like this if their country is like this or um, this then you want to say something else so those kind of thing is can be also done here easily of adding these conditions so all all of these we can utilize to personalize our emails marketing emails right now next thing is that the branding of the profiles branding of the emails so we can have different type of uh, you know profiles created and we can define that let's say for example you know if we have uh, our uh, customers or maybe we are doing a different uh, we have different type of uh, you know product that we do so we have multiple uh, you know sister uh, concern companies and we target on the different type of customers we work on the different type of services right so we can create our multiple brand profiles and there we can provide our own personal uh, informations and we can assign that okay when this email is coming from this particular brand then the sender should be like this the all the social links that we want to include that can be specific to that you know so all that information we can do under the branding profiles so there is a option here as you can see here let me show here this is the option for the branding okay so from here we can go ahead and we can create our own brands and we can provide these details and while you know designing that uh, our email templates our emails we can select that okay i want to use this particular brand profile for this template okay so this this can be done through the same same uh, you know ide where we are designing our email templates okay so that's the thing that uh, i want to cover today so we discussed about uh, you know assets we discussed about that what are the email templates so how we can put the different uh, you know elements on the email template and once uh, you know email template is there how we can uh, personalize them using simple expressions and we can how we can assign the particular brand profile there okay so these are the basic as i said that we will start with the basic details so today we are going to show these basics only and we will you know touch base all the other features and all the other uh, on the you know uh, coming sessions okay so over to you venkita for the demo thanks mahinder for the uh, detailed uh, explanation of the slides hi everyone uh, let me present my screen Okay. So do let me know if you can see my screen. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, it's visible now. Yes, we can see it. Okay. Uh, so yes. Uh, if you observe right, uh, the way that we uh, saw different kinds of model driven apps. that are present for the customer service uh, workspace and uh, for uh, the cust uh, sales app in the same way we have this customer insights as well so the main thing that uh, everyone has to consider here it is the customer insights journey okay so if you observe right uh, the legacy name dynamics marketing is still there here because most of the customers are still uh known to that particular naming convention that's the main reason where you will see still this dynamics marketing though here we can see about this customer insights journeys so if you click on that one you will uh, redirect to there is particular customer insights journeys so before going to the topics that are being discussed just for 2 to 3 minutes i will just uh, show here what are the things that are present like just by looking at few of the things right uh, we have to understand what it does that uh, do okay <clears throat> so here if you observe for this real time journeys 
uh, we can also have the customer insights data as well and so if you click on this get started right you will have all the predefined uh, template based real time journeys that you can uh, provide for it so if i if at all if i click on this particular create email then i will uh, directly goes to that particular uh, email okay so in the same way if i go to the automatic individual uh, experiences then i will get this particular journey so one important thing that you have to be uh, get accustomed was this the word of journey okay so if you observe in any of these particular uh, uh, scrum or in your projects you keep on hearing this user personas and also the user journeys okay those particular journey kind of uh, uh, terminology that has been used here the intention here was uh, to use the same kind of uh, uh, feeling that many of the uh, functional uh, people or techno functional people will come into the uh, table okay so again this is the how uh, we can create any uh, new journey and reach customers on any device like uh, you can use this customer insight journeys uh, through the tab or mobile or through the emails and these are the settings that has been uh, uh, mentioned so if you wanted to switch to this area then directly i can uh, go to here these are the different kinds of settings that are present now coming to the journeys so if you see there are two different kinds of journeys that are present one is the ticket based and the uh, segment based now if i go to this uh, analytics uh, you can get the information about uh, the different kinds of journeys uh, with respect to the journey analytics and also the uh, channel analytics also so this is my uh, uh, trial environment which i have spent recently that's why you don't uh, find uh, any kind of uh, details in the same way we have the different kinds of channels that are present so if you wanted to get the holistic information about uh, the analytics that you got it so here i will just pause here and see different kinds of channels that we have email push notification and text messages generally if you observe right uh, any marketing related information that we get uh, mostly digitally right through in the form of email or in the form of the text message or in the form of some kind of push uh, notification and also the journey names as i have not created any journey that's why i don't uh, get these uh, details so these are the different uh, triggers that are present example if whenever any contact gets created or contact email address gets updated then uh, these triggers are uh, readily we can use them so there are different sections that are present like the audience here again in customer insights the major uh, tables that we keep on hearing was contacts leads emails and the segments and also here the consent center will also be present like if at all if you observe any kind of uh, email that is marketing email that you will get it it is mandatory to have the consent okay if at all the user does not uh, require don't want to get this particular emails right then we, we will generally give that uh, option for it so different channels we have that is emails forms and uh, push notifications and uh, the text messages and the uh, more channels that are also present next for sx like we do have the libraries where uh, we will be uh, doing all the kind of images documents videos and if you wanted to have then uh, separate custom font then you can do that 
and then email the templates so what kind of email templates that you would like to have it is a one column one column centered one one by two by two column one two three column like that different kinds of email templates that are present where you can uh, easily use them right away so these are the different task templates that are present and also the content blocks where you can create any particular uh, content blocks and if you observe the uh, different kinds of areas that we have that is we do have the real time journeys that is what we are covering here as a part one of the customer insight journeys uh, similarly we do have the other event planning and setting and uh, the training as well okay so without wasting much of the time let us go and uh, look at this particular library okay so we do have different uh, views that are common where you will see uh, in any of the uh, model driven apps that you see here we do have the images documents videos and fonts okay let me up to upload one particular file so just i have uploaded this uh, file okay it has been uploaded now if you observe right in the images i could see this particular uh, file that is uh, present in the same way you can keep all the documents and the fonts as well so i will add some tag here this i will upload okay if you observe right a ppt file also it, i could uh, upload and if you observe right this uh, size is 13.3 mb and if you observe the image it is in kb so as mentioned right uh, the size limit that will be present up to that particular size limit we can uh, easily uh, go for that so i will refresh this one and if you observe these are all the different active files that i have one is the png file and one uh, pptx file that is uh, present now going back to this particular email templates let us see just for uh, looking for purpose just if you observe i have one column uh, template that is present where i have these uh, details so if you observe i can uh, so this is the preview and test default brand setter just that is what i am saying here i can add an logo here so let us do one thing just i can keep click on this image and i will blow up browse uh, from the library where we have added uh, one image right so i can keep that okay so just i have registered for ms ignite and if i wanted to get uh, any kind of uh, things for the call to action i can give for it and if i wanted to add any uh, youtube related details and all i can uh, relatively use it so if you observe right this is nothing but the kind of content block that i have uh, told you okay so so the check content just it is validating it so the content part is missing it is what uh, it was saying so add a subject so now again i will uh, check the content so no errors were found uh, see you can also use the html template as well if you wanted to go for it if you wanted to format it if you want uh, use it 
command template if you wanted to format like this these all you can see here and also we do have different modes that are also present because most of the people like the theme of the black and white and few of the people like the white background that is present so this is how just i am trying this one column one and i click on this uh, test send so if i provide any of the email address then i will uh, get that uh, details so any test email uh, will definitely uh, gets uh, triggered there okay so now uh, going through to this particular uh, uh, okay these are the different libraries and the email templates that are present uh, now what we are going to do here let's go to the channels let's create one email so here uh we will get the different kinds of email templates that are present where uh, i will say these are the different things that are present with respect to the new product uh, see there are different categories that are present like deals and the follow up events and webinars so informational uh, details the transactional details and different kinds of uh, layouts that are uh, present so example so this is the product launch that has been uh, uh, shown in the ppt so that we will be selecting it before going that right so here if we wanted to have the custom templates of our own then we can go for it and this is for favorites is another one where if we are repeatedly using uh, few of the email templates then we can mark these uh, uh, email templates as a part of these uh, favorites so i clicked on the product launch and click on the select so if you observe here uh, i got these uh, details so i can minimize this one and if you observe here this was the email one that i got it so if i wanted to get the details so look for sender just uh, default brand sender or you can keep any of the name okay so from email subject is i can give this uh, as an uh, new product launch uh i can give this uh, preview text as well so the default brand profile this is what i am going to tell you or uh, post uh, this details so logo so here again i can uh, keep my image so browse from the library select it i got this particular logo so i can resize them as per my wish and i can uh, i can keep this one like uh, i can give some dummy step step here
So if I wanted to give this one, I can add any particular link here. So if you see these particular more options, you can get the different uh, options as well. Self blank or the parent. Just I can keep this one. So here I can change whatever the test uh, text that is having happening here. So I can change this as well. And I can give this uh, standard value as well. Now look at these uh, different kinds of elements that are present. You can ask me a question. So when get only these are the elements that are present, you keep on adding or updating, you keep on just updating the details which are already present. Uh, can uh, If I wanted to add few other things, then can I not, uh, can I do that or not? Yes, why not? You can do this one. You can simply uh, place here one text here and uh, just click on enter. Now going back to these uh, elements again. If I wanted to keep a uh, separator here. Let's, I can, uh, I have clipped, kept, I can keep this. If I wanted to keep a uh, QR code here, I can keep that uh, QR code as well. Now, there are a uh, few other things that is present uh, where I can personalize a uh, few of the things that are present like I can add a condition saying that uh, <clears throat> so I can provide few of the conditions like which contact which lead has to be sent okay, these advanced topics we will be going to cover in the next sessions but for now just look at these options that are uh, present. We can, I can add any particular list for it. And if I wanted to have the different kinds of theme, then border, I can get that one, the font family. So I have kept that and settings, <clears throat> okay. So before that, right, just uh, let me uh, click on save. <clears throat> so generally, right, whenever uh, we send any particular email, when we try to uh, reply to that particular email, what we will get generally, uh, we get out of, uh, so this email was not monitoring or this particular queue, any email sent to this particular email will not be seen, all these kind of instructions that you will get it. The main intention, right, uh, in order to uh, reduce the manual effort of uh, tracking that particular replies to the email. Okay, so if I wanted to uh, update my com company address, I can uh, do that. And right, going to the email uh, template, <clears throat> I can go for this uh, default email template because I have selected that as a product launch. That's what I get it. If I wanted to have other languages as well, so if you wanted an email in a multilingual way, you can. Uh, select that one automatically generate the plain text this is the plain text view if you at all you wanted to uh, use that one so this is the compliance where what i am saying this is a commercial or the transaction just i am saying it as an uh, commercial for it so let me save this one and then uh, let me check the content
right so now uh, i have saved it and then i will click on the ready to send so it said that ready to send so before doing that right just i can uh, preview and test this one it looks like uh, this one okay so if you observe here i have added this sample text and also uh, the details so now i can send it so here right this is an uh, my product launch email generally i i can send to multiple users that's how right i have thousands and uh, lakhs and millions of users i cannot remember each and every person email id and they will send it so that's where right uh, i can uh, send this particular uh, email that has been uh, used for it now uh, let us see about this uh, brand okay we have to go to the design and here you can uh, see about so if you observe the check content check axis if you wanted to refresh this one you can refresh if you wanted to quickly go to the settings you can do that one email settings in the compliance if you wanted to go for it then you can uh, easily uh, go for this one now so let me go back to here let us see i can send now i'll click on the send now it will take some time to load because whatever the segments that are present that particular segments will uh, keep coming and will show it here okay so let me go to this particular emails uh, Go back to this one. I can also uh, keep this particular uh, email template that is uh, present here. I can save as with this one, and I can uh, create another one. So this was the email template that I will say. Just I will say. Uh, save and close. If I go and see this particular record, it will go and see it in this particular uh, email uh, template. Okay, going to this email templates. So, if you see, if you observe, this was the email one template which I have created. Now, going to this uh, content blocks, uh, so these are the active. I don't have any active content blocks that are present. If at all uh, have it, uh, then I can uh, readily uh, use them. So if I go, go to the emails and uh, go to here. Send now, this was the email. Let us try it out if uh, uh, this 
email id gets triggered Let's do one thing. It is refreshed. So, so here in preview and test also, I forgot to mention here, uh, as it was mentioned, like this will be. Uh, compatible with uh, different uh, layouts. So in mobile, in mobile landscape, in mobile portrait, tablet landscape, and uh, the desktop, how this uh, looks like, right? That you will uh, get that. If you wanted to add any sample data, you can uh, get that uh, details as well. So if you observe, right, uh, this is the variable one that is present. If I change this one uh, to other details, then automatically this Hyderabad will be changing to the Delhi. Okay. So this is how uh, you can do it. In the same way, you can change any uh, brand profile as well that uh, you can uh, easily uh, do that. We do have the content blocks, uh, if at all, in case, if you wanted to create any content blocks, then uh, you can uh, create it. So if you wanted to give, create one uh, content, I will say this one has one section and I'll keep a divider. And I can give uh, some kind of color for it. Keep an image. This I will upload to the library. I can select it. So I will say that this is a uh, custom content block. Like that I can write uh, some custom code as well. So here I can keep it here as So just I am saving this content block. So now this content block has been saved where you can uh, readily use this content block inside of in your uh, uh, email templates that are present. So with that, right, whatever that has been uh, discussed in this particular session, those details has been uh, uh, shared, like the first is the library email templates and then the content blocks and then uh, the consent, how we can uh, give that uh, details as well. So over to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Venkat. Uh, 
Yes, uh, so I did th this was the introductory uh, session for the customer insight. So we, we discuss uh, about how, what is this uh, customer insight uh, journey is all about and what are the basic, uh, you know, controls or, uh, you know, uh, contents uh, that we use while we design our emails, uh, marketing emails, we saw the templates and all those. And we will keep continuing discuss about this in our coming session. So we will take more advanced uh, topics and we will uh, then maybe at some stage uh, we will also take uh, you know end to end uh, you know uh, use case that how we can start with the basic things and how we can you know interact uh, while sending out these emails and checking all those so we will keep doing on that so stay tuned with us and uh, join us uh, you know for the next session of the customer journey thank you very much thanks everyone